In media example 8, we're going to work with a slightly more complicated problem than we did in media example 7. And we're going to see just how important it is to keep track of your values and not to round intermediately. So we're given the equation 11.36 times 1.080 to the t equals 180. And we want to solve that for t. So the exponential part is here, 1.080 to the t. Step one says that we need to isolate that. So we're going to divide both sides by 11.36. And when we do that, we're going to get the following. 1.080 to the t, so there's the exponential part, equals 180 over 11.36. Now we're going to change the equation to logarithmic form. That's going to be pretty challenging because of the fraction involved. But what we're going to do is just use our placeholders going from exponential to logarithmic form. So it's going to be log of 1.080, that's the base, log base 1.080 of 180 over 11.36 equals t. So trace it back, make sure it makes sense. 1.080 to the t equals 180 over 11.36. Step three now, we're going to isolate the variable. Well, that part's already done, so we're going to move on to step four. First part of step four is to identify the result in exact form. And we've actually already done that up in step two. But let's go ahead and see how we would write that and pull all the pieces in a little bit more formally. So exact form is going to be t equals log base 1080 of 180 over 11.36. So that's our exact form. The second part then is to change it to rounded form as indicated by the problem we're wanting three decimals. So to change it to rounded form, we're going to have to work with change of base and that's going to be pretty challenging for us. So let's see how that's going to look. First of all, we're going to need to take log of 180 over 11.36, so that's what's in the top divided by the log of the base, 1.080. And I'm going to put that all in the calculator so you can see how it works. Log of 180 divided by 11.36, parentheses, there's your parentheses, divided by log 1.080. And if we do that and press and our parenthesis and then enter, we should get 35.899 rounded to three decimals. Now we're going to again use our y equals and intersect method to try and work with the uh, checking of this. So I'm going to enter 1.080 to the x in this case as our y1 and y2 is going to be 180 divided by 11.36. Now from my window, I'm going to use something similar to what I did before, but it's going to be slightly different. For x, I'm going to take that from negative 10 up to 50, and I'm kind of doing that because I know my answer is going to be about 35, so I want to be sure and see that. y is going to go from 0 to 30. So let's just go ahead to second calc number five and that's going to graph for us and then there's the exponential part there's the 180 over 11.36 I'm going to answer my three questions to find the intersection 35.899 is indeed the right result in the space that's labeled here on the table you should sketch the graph and label the intersection we have our check you can also take 35.899 Plug it back into the original and see how close you get to 180.